offensively and defensively. He had that wonderful catch in center field, three RBIs at the plate. How good does it feel to put together a complete game? ¿Cómo te sientes después de tu mejor juego del año? Bueno, eh, primeramente, gracias a Dios, eh, hoy fue un buen día, no solamente para mí, sino para el equipo. Eh, traté de no, no hacer mucho, sino tratar de ayudar al equipo, poner la bola en juego y gracias a Dios las cosas pasaron. First things first, thank to God it was a great day, not only for him, but for the entire team. He tried not to do too much, but just put the ball in play and help him. Oye, increíble hoy, increíble. Él tuvo el comando todo el juego. Este, siempre estuvo atacando con, su, con todo su picheo y yo pienso que esa fue la principal clave para que ganemos hoy. Well, Caleb Smith has been incredible today. He was attacking. He's had the campaign. He think that, that was the main reason, one of the main reasons, because it's so great today. So thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank you. You know, you know stop before you as well. Yeah, honestly, yeah, really good tonight. Uh, obviously got off hot. He punches out like six out of the first nine or ten. Uh, just seemed like he had everything going tonight. Got his changeup going good. Um, you know, just the one ball basically to, to Perez that gives up the run. Uh, it seems that the better the lineup somewhere, you know, like he, he just attacks, doesn't care who he's facing, right? I mean, no, I mean, I mean, that's one thing you talk about. You can see all kinds of names, and guys are really good hitters, but if you got good stuff, you hit the ball to the right spots, you get outs. And uh, I still don't think you see the ball real good off Caleb. One of those guys that hides the ball a little bit, yeah, it's a little sneaky. You're ready to do some damage. Yeah, I mean, and a couple of obviously pretty good guys over there that we've seen in, in this series. Um, I thought guys had a pretty good plan for them and executed and, and hung in there last night. We were able to, you know, go back and forth a little bit with them and then got slowed down. Tonight, getting on the board early, I think it's always good for us to kind of show that we're going to be able to get on the board early. And it seems like our guys kind of respond just going, you know, from there. Obviously, we talk about Rosie before the game and then we get two big hits out of him. Um, you know, to, to kind of keep giving us some cushion. Uh, he made a big play, too, in the seven, you know, on that catch. Yeah, absolutely. Great play. Yeah. Uh, what do you see with him? I killed, like, a 100-pitch guy. Is that, like, is there any max on him at any point? Uh, not really. I mean, there, there's always a limit on guys, but, like, he's probably, he's been over 100. Uh, you know, most guys around baseball, you're not letting them go too far past 110. There's a few guys out there they let go. Uh, but for the most part, with the young guys, we're going to, you know, throttle back and not let him get to one, you know, 120 or 125, anything like that right now. Um, but, you know, he's a 110, 115, you know, if, if he needed to, I think. I think he's always got gas. He told me he felt good. So he, he's one, he's the one guy, I shouldn't say the one guy, but he's one guy that will fight to stay in games, you know, and tell him he's feeling good. He's still got a lot left. So, you know, and we basically let him do it in Philly, uh, you know, and gets out of that inning with, you know, we could have went in a different direction, but we let him get out of his own, own little jam. Roselle, the two big hits like you, you alluded to on there, what do you see from him at the plate on there? Oh, he's got something that he could he'd handle. Obviously, it looked like the slider kind of came right to him. I don't know if he tried to go back door or tried to get it in, but it looked like he tried to go back door and kind of came across the plate to him. Uh, and the other one, I thought it was a nice little piece of hitting because he kind of battled uh, and ends up hitting. Uh, I think that was off Clippard, right? So it's you know the high fastball changeup split type guy. He's a, he's a fairly tough matchup. Actually, he's better against uh, the lefties and the righties, and so that's a more of a tougher matchup for him. But you know he hangs in there, and it looks like he ended up you know hit that ball on the right. Uh, obviously, it's got a moment with, with Kluber uh, to get yeah. hit, and uh, but even how you feel, you guys. Yeah, I think they had eight hits off him. No, that did a nice job. You know, he's the kind of guy. He's got a good breaking ball, and, and he can run the fastball back. He, he pitches way off to the first base side, so he's trying to. He's running that heater back on the back on the back side against the righties. It looks like it's out, and it kind of comes back. Uh, so I thought we stayed out there good with him. Uh, try to stay in the middle of the field. You know, not and really keep away from chasing the slider and the, or the curveball slider cut or whatever he wants to call it. There's a couple of different variations. Um, but that's hard to you know to look out over the plate and stay out in the middle without chasing that. Game plan tonight against a good Indians offense. I uh, just go out there and fill up the strike zone, throw my pitches for strikes, and uh, that's, that's what I did. I think I think I had that best stretch of baseball you've had on the mound. In your um, definitely, yeah. This is the best stretch of baseball I've had in in the big leagues uh, for sure. Mm -hmm. Even like going, when was the last time you think you were throwing? Even going back maybe to the minors, you know, or way back. When do you think the last time you were really feeling kind of rhythm like this? 
Um, in, in 2017, right before I got called up with the Yankees, I was, I mean, I felt you know, almost exactly like this. So. Mm -hmm. hey, with, with the fact that it doesn't even matter the lineup, you're kind of making fast work of people. How do you, you know, kind of negate that when you go into some playoff type teams and just really strong hitters? How do you just kind of go in and do what you do? Um, I, honestly, I don't really, don't really focus on on who's at the bat. Like I go, I go over the lineup, but I don't care like who's at the bat. Um, I just go with my strengths. And even early, I mean, you came out, you know, really fast, you know, with a lot of strikeouts early against some really good hitters. Uh, yeah, I mean, I felt like every time I looked up, I was I was 0-2, so, so that helps a lot. Oh, going against a guy like, like Kluber, unfortunately, what, you know, what happened to him tonight with the, with the, uh, the non-displaced fractures, kind of your thoughts on that? Yeah, that's. I mean, that sucks. He's he's a great pitcher, and uh, I mean, I, I wish him the best. So. And your offense gave you some early support. Oh yeah, they they swung the bat really well. So Herrera had a great Herrera and Birdie had a great day at the plate. So I mean, they did a great job. Can't ask for anything more.